Last time on iHeart Pickleball, we asked the question, is Naples, Florida the pickleball capital of the world? This time, we travel to Loma Linda, California to learn how pickleball can lead to a longer, healthier life. I Heart Pickleball is powered by Highlands Leg Cramps, proud supporter of pickleball players everywhere. My name is Ernie Medina Jr. and uh, I'm a faculty here at the School of Public Health at Loma Linda University. So Loma Linda University is designated as a blue zone. The blue zone is a concept that was started by Dan Buettner, a researcher for National Geographic, and it's five areas around the world that live longer than the population around them. Pickleball is a great sport for the blue zone because it can actually help you live longer. Growing up, I, I played tennis and ping pong and racket sports, racquetball, all my life. In 2016, I was visiting my parents and uh, my mom, who was 79 at the time, she was the one that introduced me to pickleball. So she said, hey, come on out and try pickleball. And I said, what? And so they were playing at their church gym and I tried it and they instantly fell in love with it. So then I came back here to Loma Linda, couldn't find pickleball anywhere in this area. So I bought a net and we set it up at a local tennis park here in Loma Linda. I just invited a handful of friends, about six or eight of us, and we started playing. So I ran into Ernie Medina here in town, and he said, hey, why don't you come out and try pickleball? You used to be so active in college. We were immediately addicted, and I guess the rest is history. There was just like eight of us, and then it grew to 20, and then 30. So basically from eight of us, that started introducing the game to everybody. We've grown to like three to 400 people. Fall of 2016, we had gotten too big. I was hauling all the equipment in my car and we finally approached the Drayson Center here, which is the wellness center here at the university and, uh, and asked if we could start playing here. My name is Don Cease and I am the director here at the Drayson Center for Loma Linda University. Dr. Ernie Medina comes up, he starts talking about pickleball. With Ernie encouraging us, we set up some temporary courts. I have never seen that kind of interest in any of our activities from such a wide range of people, from the seniors to kids. So I said, okay, I'm willing to take a calculated risk. And we put in four dedicated pickleball courts. And we've added lines for 26 courts. And right now, we've used, there are times we have used every last one of those courts. So it's way beyond anything we could have imagined. My name is Helen Hopmershak, and I'm the Dean of the School of Public Health here at Loma Linda University. Loma Linda University has been around since 1905. What's best known about the university is its mission and its motto, to make man whole. So we believe in wholeness and living whole lives, whole healthy lives. We're also known as a Blue Zone. My name is uh, Dr. Hildemar Dos Santos. Uh, I am a, an associate um, professor in the School of Public Health. Uh, in the year uh, 2005, Dan Buettner went around the world and found those places that have a higher percentage of the population with 90 and 100 years old around the world. So when they identified the Blue Zones, they identified in several different places. The first one was in Okinawa in Japan, then in Sardinia and in Italy, and then uh, Nicoya in Costa Rica, and then Icaria in Greece. And the 51 was Loma Linda here where you are now. The main characteristics of the Blue Zones that they share in common are exercise. Then the second one would be a diet rich in plants. The other characteristic is the love for life and the meaning that they have for life. So this is common in all, all Blue Zones. So Loma Linda University is a blue zone because it is strong in those three components, uh, you know, physical activity, community, and healthy nutrition. Pickleball is a great sport for the blue zone because it checks off two of the boxes that makes a blue zone, community and physical activity. We know from research that you're going to engage in healthier behaviors for a longer period of time when you have that sense of community. So it's a huge uh, factor in encouraging healthy lifestyles. Pickleball does that amazingly, in part because it's, it's fun to do and you have to do it with other people and you get to know people and that sense of community is amazing and, and really very special. The pickleball community, they're friendly, they're, they're naturally social people. 
competitive. They, they laugh, how are you doing, give you the slap on the back until they get on the court and then it's on. Pickleball is very popular to form a strong community bound between the players and, 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 and they socialize a lot. So there is a big influence of your social uh, surroundings on your own health. If your friends uh, um, smoke, it's very difficult for you to quit smoking. And if you have a traditional group of people that uh, have uh, common uh, feelings about health, they will help each other and they will build up health in the community. So in a blue zone, community and family, especially family, is, a, is an important factor. And pickleball fits that perfectly. What I love about pickleball is that, you know, my mom is, is, is 79, almost 80 this May, and she can play with her grandkids and, and kids. And so it's a very intergenerational sport. And so it's fun to see families playing together versus being a spectator, watching the kids play, or vice versa. What really drew me to, to this sport, to pickleball, was being able to do something active with my son, who is 16 year old, he's active, he's about six feet tall, he's powerful, and I thought I can't keep up with him on a bike, or a run, or a pretty much anything else, but this is something we could do together. One of the main secrets for live longer is not sit down. If you sit down, you are counting your years in the other part of life. Uh, you have to move, and pickleball has this advantage. You can play while you are older and older and older and without any problem. Our oldest pickleball player here at Loma Linda is a, a woman named Ilsa. And my son had the privilege of playing her several months ago. He said, Mom, Ilsa's better than I am. I said, well, honey, she's been playing for several months. And he says, yeah, but she's 83. I'm the oldest member, yes, I'm 83. Pickleball keeps me young because I have to run, the conversation, you know, the camaraderie. One of the best things about having a pickleball club in a university community is that we have such a wide range of ages of players. So one of our youngest players is 14 years old and then one of our oldest players is 83 years old and you will often see a, a great mix of ages playing together and against each other. We can really play with just about anybody. You're playing together, having fun, and you're also getting exercise. The benefits of physical activity, I think almost anything you can name, from lowering depression, from improving well-being, of course all the cardiovascular risk factors, there's very little that you can name that isn't positively affected by physical activity. My name is David Wren. I'm uh, actually one of the vice presidents with Loma University Medical Center. Now, the health benefits that I've found from pickleball is clearly being overweight as I am and uh, pre-diabetic. Actually, my A1C now since I've been playing has come back into line. I think that the, also the fact that I can tell that when I exercise and when I play a couple of nights a week, my sleep in the evening is so much better. I get a better night's sleep. It helps me with my work during the day to be able to be much more awake and alert. So sleep is really important. We have the saying in sports medicine that exercise is medicine because there are so many benefits to our health that exercise brings in. Pickleball is a perfect example of that. I view pickleball as a gateway to healthy living. And the reason I say that is because, you know, a lot of times people are afraid to start exercising and they think, oh, that's not for me, I'm not an athlete. When they try pickleball, it's so easy to, to start and they can do it anywhere and it's simple and they can do it as easily as they want to. But then once they start noticing, hey, I, you know, this is fun and they get, they get used to, the, to moving and being physically active, then they can get in better and better shape and then maybe that'll now introduce them to hiking or I can go biking or I can do other things. But pickleball can be that entry to a physically active lifestyle. Pickleball as an exercise can impact your longevity. Pickleball is great for helping you live longer, which is why it's a great blue zone activity. If you want to live longer, you should do more pickleball. You should take care of your health and eat more fresh foods, more fruits, more vegetables and more beans. It's not just living longer, it's the quality of life that they have. It doesn't matter where you live. What matters is how you live, your lifestyle, how you promote uh, your health in terms of exercise, diet, and things like that. Not everyone can live in a blue zone, but you can take the lessons learned from blue zones and apply them to your own life, no matter where you live in this world. So these are just some of the things that pickleball can do to help you live not only longer, but also have a better quality of life. 
No matter where you are, pickleball can bring us together to celebrate community, learn new things, and have fun. If you know someone we should feature on a future episode, we would love to hear from you. All you have to do is send us an email and tell us your idea. This episode of I Heart Pickleball has been brought to you by Highlands Leg Cramps, America's number one over-the-counter leg cramp medicine. For more information, go to highlands.com. <laughs>